my beautiful little kiwis, it's Kiwi Swimming here and welcome back to my channel for another current household update. This is yet another update for the month of February, but yeah, I don't know, I've made a bit of progress in this household. Um, we're not with the household that I was playing with at the start of the month. Um, I was playing with a different household than usual at the start of the month, but I did also say, I think in that video, that I would more than likely be back with the Barlows sometime soon and you know that has happened I'm back with the Barlows and yeah we have like a huge actual update to give you because I've been streaming them a lot um on Twitch obviously because that's where I stream them and we've just made a bit of progress um I'm quite impressed but yeah so I have a bit to show you I probably won't spend too much time rambling with an intro but can we just like super quickly say um we're living in a house that I built when do I ever live in my own houses these days <laughs> I used to always live in my houses, like particularly like when I was doing the Sims um, 3 current households, but not so much anymore. Should we do a tour? Let's do a house tour. Okay. I'm really good at these. Oh, yikes. Um, if you see me do them on Twitch, yeah, I'm pretty good at them. So when you walk in the door, uh, this is our little living area quite, quite here, right here. It's nice and quaint. Oh, look, there's me. Um... <laughs> I need to stop this. Oh, we've got a cute little dining area. We've got a nice kitchen. We've got a master bedroom in here, which is super dark because there's no one in it, but it's a light and lovely space, I promise. Uh, we have a bathroom, which is also dark because there's no one in it, but a luscious space all the same. We have a little office here, which is perfect because I do have a sim that needs it, office kind of. Um, upstairs we have this little landing, there's some of my sims, you'll be introduced to them. Uh, we have a twin toddler gal bedroom, very very cute. Um, and my boy's bedroom, and a cat. I'm, yeah, my cat, look at my cat, <gasps> look at my little cat, he's so cute. Okay, but yeah, this is the house that we're living in, um, I did build it myself, the, uh, I'll try and remember to link it in. The description down below but that actually wasn't important to the story at all but um anyway so <laughs> as you know we've been playing with the Barlow household I'll just pull up the family tree for you super quick um oh I have a broken mod yeah nice when the updates break your game okay um <laughs> so obviously with this household we started off with Tyler and Cadence who are unfortunately no longer with us. We then carried on with Maya Barlow, who was also no longer with us. I'm pretty sure she was with us um, the last time I did a current household with them, which is probably like gonna sound crazy and sound like I've been playing with these guys a lot, but I promise you I haven't. Okay, I did a, I did do a time skip with this generation because it was running on too long. I needed to leave. Um, and now we're playing with Caitlin, who is actually the youngest of Maya and Jake. She's actually the only biological daughter of both Maya and Jake because obviously we have Chan no that's oh just kidding no Derek never mind never mind Derek's biologically both of theirs as well um Candace is adopted yeah I got that wrong but yeah we're playing with Caitlin um the youngest of the family she's aged up into a young adult now and she's been through a lot okay um I'll introduce you to her first she's self-assured she's cre uh, cheerful sorry she's creative <laughs> and amuse her. She has the painter extraordinaire lifetime witch which we wish which we're doing pretty well with I like to think. Um, she's currently unemployed but the reason for that is because she just like hangs around home and just paints and um, makes her money that way. Um, and yeah she's she's been through a bit so she moved out into her own apartment when she was still a teenager not for any particular reason more so because she you know just craved independence she didn't want to live under her parents roof anymore so she moved out at a young age she moved into a tiny little cramped up apartment and she had this squad okay and her squad consisted of her consisted of Lana who I'll introduce you to um, also consisted of Jonathan and Jackson, and they all lived in the same apartment building, in the same apartment building, I should say, and yeah, they were a tight-knit squad and stuff, and it was, it was cool, so they all, like, moved out, they had this, like, independence about them, they all lived in the same building, so they could literally hang out whenever they fancied, and it was really cool, um, but Caitlin and Jonathan were, um, friends with benefits, if you will, and one day, they just, you know, accidentally ended up pregnant. Um, so yeah, they were like somewhat romantic with each other for a while, but um, then Caitlin got pregnant with Justin, who I'll properly introduce you to 
shortly. Um, and they kind of fell out with each other. They just... Jonathan's a bit of a douchebag, so... <laughs> He didn't really want much to do with the baby or anything, just he kind of wanted to stay out of it. He really doesn't have much to do with Justin. In fact, I'm pretty sure, yeah, they have a bad relationship. So, yeah, Jonathan sucks. Um, But, yeah, so she had Justin with Jonathan. They kind of, like, broke it off. They weren't a thing anymore. Um, And then when Justin was a toddler, she got pregnant again to a random in a club, um, Ian, over here. <laughs> Who also doesn't have anything to do with these kids and yeah, she had a set of twins um, With this random and now she's with Lana. So yeah, she's kind of like She's had a few love interests in her time and she's still only young as well. She's a young adult. She ages up um, 18 days. Yeah <laughs> Three love interests and like three kids already. She's she's doing well for herself. But yeah, I love Caitlyn. She's a she's a cute little bean. Oh, and these two are so close. I love it. I love it because like, oh, I like made sure to actually have her parent, her children, um, which is cute. Uh, but yeah, moving on, we have Lana, who is obviously, she was in the squad as well. And yeah, she's always kind of had a bit of a crush on Caitlyn, but like Caitlyn never really, you know, she didn't feel the same for the longest time because, you know, she was more interested in men for a long time but yeah recently Lana and Caitlin kind of like it was when it was when Caitlin was pregnant with the twins these two kind of got closer and yeah now they're dating and living a house together and I'm really pleased about it because Lana's a cute bean look at her <laughs> look at her beanie I'm so in love okay um but yeah let's introduce you to Lana she's unflirty which I thought was going to give me trouble, but it didn't at all. Because these two were such good friends already, so it kind of made it easy. She's a bro. I don't know why. <laughs> but she's a bro. Um, she loves the outdoors, and she's also a collector. Oh, look at her cleaning up after the messy toddlers. So cute. Um, she's also a freelance botanist. Yeah, I guess she just got given that when she aged up. Um, I don't really know. Um, but yeah, she's also unemployed. That's probably going to change though, because I don't want both of them around the house all day. You know what I mean? So yeah, I'll, I'll get her into a job. Unless I like, unless I make her be a collector. No, I think I want her out of the house. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I could have her be a collector. I don't know. But yeah, that's pretty much all there is about Lana. She doesn't really have much of a backstory because obviously I didn't play with her. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll develop her story as we go along. Catch my streams. They're fun. All right. And next up we have Justin, who was obviously, um, the first child of Caitlin and the son of Jonathan does not like Jonathan at all, but yeah, Justin's a bean. Okay. Um, his skills, he has all of these skills. I never show you skills anymore. <laughs> Social level three, motor level two, mental level one, creativity level two. He's an active sim. I can kind of picture him being a jock because I picture that from Jonathan as well. I feel like even though he's not a huge fan of Jonathan, why is he crying? Are you okay? Is he watching a sad movie? <laughs> oh my God, he's on a roller coaster of emotions. Are you all right, buddy? Oh, I feel you. Um, yeah, I feel like Jonathan would kind of seep through in him, even though he doesn't really want him to. So yeah, I can see like John, uh, Justin being a bit of a jock. Um, he wants to be a social butterfly. So like, you know, popular kid, you know what I'm saying? But he's, got, he's still got time to grow. We've got, we've got time with him. Um, and next up came the twins. So yeah, we've got little Tegan Barlow over here who is very, very cute. Um, I love her. Look at, she's so sad. Look at this sad face. <laughs> oh, she's precious. She looks like Tintin. Um, she's a charmer, which is nice. Um, there's nothing really else to say about toddlers, is there? Toddlers aren't very in interesting to introduce you to. Oh, look at this brat. Tell her off. Don't let her do that. No, 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 no. We do not na make mess. Firm. Express disappointment. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. Um, but anyway. So yeah, that's Tegan. Note her face. Okay. So that's what she looks like. She looks a lot like Ian. She definitely takes after her dad, uh, which is a shame because her dad isn't in her life. Um, we'll avoid that conversation. Okay, and next up we have little Cassidy, who looks 
Okay, A, pissed. But B, nothing like her sister. She looks a lot like Caitlyn, which I mean, is fine because obviously twins that aren't identical are a thing. But I just don't really see that very often in my game. So it's, it's kind of cool. I'm here for it. They look nothing alike, especially when they're older. You'll definitely see it because we did have a sneaky little look. Yeah, it's cool. Um, but she's a wild child, which is, you know, I'm going to have fun with that, aren't I? <laughs> yeah, these are just, they're all very cute. I love the, I love this family. Lana should be in this picture as well, but she's on the computer playing Sims, just like the rest of us. <laughs> family being social, we're all Lana. Don't even deny it. <laughs> But yeah, we do of course have one last member of the family and it's probably my favourite member of the family and probably not a good time to introduce my favourite member of the family. But here we have little Georgie, my little ginger cat named Georgie. I've always wanted one. <laughs> but yeah, this is Georgie Barlow. I don't even remember if it's a boy or a girl. How do I find that out? Oh dear, I don't know what gender my cat is. Oh, it's a male. Okay. <laughs> Georgie's a boy and he's a very very cute boy I love him he's so cute I've never had a cat in the sims before I only ever have dogs precious little Georgie very valued part of the family are you gonna jump that is he gonna jump the fence do they do that what's he doing no you're just gonna sit there stay safe little one I don't want to lose you um but yeah, I think that's everything I have to update you on for now. Um, maybe I'm missing something. I don't really know. But if I am, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll try and like fill in the gap if I have forgotten anything. But I'm pretty sure that's it. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to continue streaming this household on Twitch. So if you do ever want to like catch a live stream where I'm playing with these guys and you can like, you know throw in your input because you guys definitely like you guys being my twitch viewers you guys definitely like are good at throwing ideas at me for my households and stuff just to like spice things up a little bit it's a good time it's a good time so you should be a part of that but yeah i think i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up right here oh look at this little tyke look at this tired little bubby me too honey me too can't wait to do that myself tonight <laughs> But anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a big fat thumbs up for me. Thank you so much for watching. I love you a lot. And of course, I will see you next time. Bye!